Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today I'm just going to show you how you can copy and paste some CSS to give your Divi Blurb module a various hover effects. So, this is the default blurb module. You've got an icon title and this is the first example. So as you hover over you can see we have a drop shadow added we change the color of the icon and the heading and there is a slight zoom effect on the whole module as well so under each example we have the CSS that you're going to need these are the different hover effects so we have nine of them so Lots of shadows, moving icons, this one's just swapping the colours. We're moving the icon and blurb up. And we got a like a progress bar at the bottom. And filling the background. Blurring the icon with the drop shadow. Okay, so there are the examples that you can copy and paste. And what you need to do, add a blurb module to your page, add a CSS class, copy and paste the CSS. So we're going to create this one, Divi Blurb 1. The test site. Um, I think blurbs generally look best in one third spacing. So we're going to add a blurb, a title, the content. We're going to use an icon. So, first thing we need to do. So this is uh, blurb one. So we need to put blurb one under the advanced CSS class blurb one. Obviously change one for whichever example you're using. Next we need to copy all of this CSS. Now this can go in a few places, so you can either add it into Divi theme options, into the custom CSS, which is at the bottom of the general page, so add it into here. You can also add it into your style.css file in your child theme if you have one, or you can put it into the page settings here. So copy and paste into here for this one. So this this is uh, CSS just on this page in this settings. So if we preview now, we should see when you hover, you get the change in color and the drop shadow. So on I think all of the examples and pretty much all of the blurbs that I use, I always put the text orientation to center and add custom padding 20 pixels. You might want to make that slightly less on mobile. So if we preview that now, you should see it's centered and we have. Um, spacing and that's all you need to do copy and paste the CSS for whichever one you need add the right class and away you go so in terms of um, how the CSS works basically this first section is for the transition so if you didn't have that when you hovered on it 
it would just click instantly into the hover state so there's no smooth transition like we have here and because on this one we're, we're targeting the whole blurb and the icon and the header so we have each of these listed here for the transition if you want it faster or slower you can change the 0.5 here and you can change it to ease in or ease out or whatever you like uh, obviously the box shadow you can change any values I have been using this one which is cssmatic.com forward slash box dash shadow if you just google for online CSS box shadow generator and then you can just drag the sliders to get the type of effect you want and then copy everything in here and replace this bit here so this is saying for the whole blurb on hover we're going to add this box shadow it also changes the background to white and scales of 1.05 and then the next bit here we're targeting the h4 which is the heading and etpb icon which is the icon and we're changing the color so there's various things you can add in here you can combine and mix them around target the different elements get different effects and that's it enjoy playing around with your blurb module CSS